Hey everybody, how you doing? It's HexDSL, hello there, and as the Humble Monthly Bundle for April was just released, it seems like the best time to do a video about the Humble Monthly Bundle in April. Um, these are the games we get. Um, we get The Witness, which is not for Linux. Um, although, weirdly, if you already own The Witness, you could like choose to have $5 store credit instead, which I know is kind of saving them money, but it also put $5 in my store credit, which was nice. Um, I, I spent that buying this gear too weirdly not all of it obviously i had to add money to it anyway i'm babbling layers of fear mass effect kingdom new lands which also comes with kingdoms classic weirdly event zero tumblestone slime san are the games we have in this week in this month's bundle um not a bad bundle actually for uh, for linux users and we've also got i keep my list up to date here of all the humble monthly bundles ever um, so if you are so inclined, you can have a look at that and decide for yourself if this is actually worthwhile or not. I keep meaning to go through this list and put all the prices on, but I can't quite bring myself to, <laughs> bring myself to do it. It just seems like work. Well, like a link to like the Steam page for each one, but it seems like work. Uh, but yeah, you've got the name. You'll be fine. You'll figure that out. Um, so let's have a look at the game, shall we? Now, I haven't loaded all these games. Um, I've loaded... Uh, the only one I've actually loaded is Black Mesa to see if I had the horrendous bug that has been chronicled on many websites. And yes, I do. So that'll be fun. Um, so we'll get to that last or, you know, wherever it is in the list. Um, so the first game on the list this week is... This week, this month, is Slime San. Uh, this game looks awesome. Look at this. This looks this looks like my kind of game. It's got like... It looks like paper in the background or something. Looks really nice. And you've got these... These, these like sketched out graphics looks really nice it says um slime san is a mine what is <sighs> i'll start again slime san was minding his own business when suddenly a giant worm appeared and gobbled him up um deep within the worm's belly slime san has to face decision be digested by the incoming wall of stomach acid or jump slide and slime his way through um, that sounds cool. It's priced at £8.99 usually, but it's currently on offer. As lots of these games are when they appear in a monthly bundle, they always go on offer, which is good business, I suppose. Um, and it gets it gets overall four user reviews. Um, so it's only just come out as well. It's only been out since the 7th, so it was pretty much launched on the day it came out on the Humble Bundle, which is interesting. That's, <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Um, yeah, I like these little gifts. Looks like it's got a sense of humour. And requirements is, yeah, com as, we, as you would guess, a computer. Uh, so let's uh, Slime San, not Slime Rancher. I've got two games now with the word slime in them. So let's try and launch this for the very first time. I've turned the audio down so you shouldn't get deafened, even if I get deafened. Okay. All right, then. Cool. I've just noticed over here, there's like a tiny bit of like, there you go. There's like a tiny bit of the blue screen, the green screen not covering it. What's this? Okay, so start game. All right then. It is quite loud. It worked first time, which was nice. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Um, Enter, space bar. Oddly, no Japanese. Okay. Okay. Oh, space bar to jump. That seems to be all the controls. Yay. With slime and stuff. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. I always, again, as you know, I always like it when they explain the game inside the game engine. Oh, so it's like Super Meat Boy. Okay. Yay. I did it. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Shift. So, so shift to read signs, okay? this oh so shift to, okay so shift not to read signs the, the, the sign is the sign comes up i have to push shift to crouch or or what am i even doing i just i empty myself of slime i don't know what that's about i got this sign slide down morph button what well okay so shift Hold down the morph button. Okay, so the morph button is the shift button. Okay. Okay, I have to. I have to jump there. I should have probably figured that out myself. Okay. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Apparently, I don't have any skills here. But but. No. Okay. That game works. I just obviously need a controller for that. 
Um, I'm not want to spend ages in any one game in this video. Sounds are nice, listen. It's like a... And then... Yeah, I'm going to come back to this the controller. This might get its own video. Um, head back some shopping, quit to the main level. Okay. And then it's very confusing, isn't it? Uh, I like it. In a good way. I meant that as a compliment. These sorts of games can be... F can I just jam escape? Okay. That was Slime Sand. We duck, jump, slime, and slither, and morph, and slow down time. And, and it works well. It looks like fun. And yeah... I think that's probably worth $8.99 on its own. So that's that's already, I'm like, yeah, that looks like the bundle was worth the money. And the next one on the list is Tumblestone, which is a game I actually know nothing about. Let's find it in Steam. I'm sure I installed it. There we go. Um, so Tumblestone is, a first, what, is the first original action puzzle game of the past 15 years. Completely reinvented the genre into deep cerebral puzzle solving. Oh, this doesn't sound like my kind of thing at all, does it? Um, this is just going to make me angry. I know it is. Uh, it's, it's got. It was out twelfth of July, twenty sixteen. It gets positive reviews. Eighteen ninety nine. Wow, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Uh, get unlimited access to all the game modes and features of Tumblestone. Okay, well, okay, fair enough. Um, and what does it require? It requires again a computer. We'll be fine. So let's have a look at Tumblestone. Click the button. Okay. It worked and selected the correct monitor first time, which is nice. That's nice artwork. I'm, okay. All right, then. So. Oh, that's nice. I just clicked out the window and it didn't minimize the game. I like that. <laughs> I prefer that. Give a free Steam key. What? Okay. I, I'll have to look into that. Start a new game. Okay, so, oh, oh, no, just space bar, okay. What a beautiful morning. The sun is shining. Queen of the Nile, wow. Some, some really weird graphics. Really, no, it's like, it's well drawn, it's just the art style, wow. Tumblestone blocking the road. Uh, soft sand beneath my, wait, Tumblestones. Tumblestones in my queendom. What the fuck is it? What? I don't... Should, can I... Okay. Nothing gets between this queen and her can, and her Caesar salad. Oh. Okay, so... Space to shoot. What am I shooting? Okay, shoot the blue one. Three blue. Okay, so... I'm just shooting three of the same colour. So it's like... Essentially a match three game. Um. Okay... Can I, this, can I, can I skip the, oh, okay. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's not that original now, is it, really? Um, oh, have I got myself in a pickle now? Can I get three? One, two. No. Oh, no. Okay, so I, I screwed up there. I have to make sure three are available before I start. Okay, seems fair enough. I'm just using arrow keys and space bar. Okay. And I got myself in a pickle again. Press A to... Uh, press backspace to restart. Okay, now I'm seeing the puzzle. Like, that took a second. So I've got to actually, like, strategically destroy these blocks to uncover the blocks I actually want to get to. Okay. So I want to get these clear, obviously. So I need to uncover that purple back there. Hmm. Okay, so... So, one, two, three, and then I can take one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I'm stuck with that one. Okay, this is interesting. It took me a second to see what was happening, but so I've got this, okay. So, yeah, I'm, so I've got a plan how I'm going to get them in what order. So, it was not just a simple match three that, like I thought it was. There's actually some smarts going on here. Um... So I'm gonna to want to get that or that orange one, that that sort of yellowy sand coloured one. So I need that one. Yeah, and then I'm gonna to need to now to get to that. I'm gonna need another purple one. So purple, purple, purple. Then I've got my sand coloured ones. Okay, and then ah, oh, and then I need another sand coloured one to clear that. And there's no red one, so I've got myself in a corner again. 
Wow, that's really smart. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Skip puzzle not available. Back to map. And uh, I'll have a look at what this free... St Let's just click it. Let's find out. Whoa, okay. We... <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll give that away before I upload the <laughs> before I upload the video. If anyone plans on uh, on screen capturing that, I'll make sure. I'll make sure that's already been we've been done. Um, right, okay. Uh, I like it's just like just just there's the steam key. Just, just there you go. There's no warning or anything. There you go. So uh, exit tumblestone. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I exited. It's thinking about exiting. Right. That's cool. Okay. Pretty pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Um, does it mention the fact you can give away an extra copy? Uh, why did you get what? Why did you get a humble stone from the monthly bundle? Uh, if you put whoa whoa, if you purchase the Yogcast charity bundle in January and the humble bundle in April, you might be in a situation where you're not able to activate your humble monthly bundle key for the full version of Tombstone because Steam thinks you already have the game. If this is the cat, okay, so that's this is this is not. I thought this was going to be like a history of why they put it in there. Okay, fair enough. Um, features, okay, interesting. Mm, all in all, an interesting game. So what's the next one on the list? Okay, Kingdom Classic uh, does not exist anymore. When you redeem your key for Kingdom New Lands, you also get Kingdom Classic in with it. So I'm counting that as two games, because like, I don't know if it's an improvement, but the two games exist in your inventory, and the two games have their own store pages, so I'm still classing it as two games. So let's have a look at Kingdom's Classic. Now, the New Lands, uh, let's say bundle, let's let's use the word bundle, I'm not sure how accurate that is, is £10.99, um, and the Royal Edition is thirteen fifty nine. I don't know where you're getting the Royal Edition. Um, and it requires, again, it's <laughs> most of a computer. Yeah, wow, okay. Um, yeah, you've got Newlands, and okay, it doesn't just Newlands, it's okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, and it's got very positive reviews 3,000. So, this is more well known game than the other ones. So, let's do a search there for Kingdom. King, kin, kin. Oh, that's <laughs> about Kingdom Rock. So, Kingdom Classic first. Let's hit play on that and see what happens. Ooh, ooh, licorice. Mm. Raw Fury. Okay. Do, do I do anything? Is this... Oh, that's cool. All right, then. Uh, a solitary queen carries the crown to new land. Wait. This is classic, not new lands. Okay. Do I do, I do anything? Do I... Oh, no. No, it's like... Okay, there you go. Here she is. Oh, and I'm already in control. That's cool. So it's not going to make me read loads before it was, am I going to go this way or this? You know what? You always go right. I'm, I'm going to go left because I feel like, like, no. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You can go. No, that's it. You can't go left. You can't go left anymore. Can I jump? Wait, that's interesting. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm walking. I'm walking. Oh, there's the logo of the game in the game. That's cute. Oh, man. The kingdom... That's a metaphor, isn't it? Okay, so can I run? Oh, there you go. Shift does what you'd expect Shift to do. Um, okay. Collecting coin, coins. Aha. Okay, so is it a platformer? Hold down to light the fire. Oh, that took a coin, did it? Um, throw coins into recruit. Do I want to recruit people? Okay. Uh, so. Okay, I want, do I want that back? Okay, so was that? I, do I have to do anything else? Hold down to buy a hammer. Cool, a hammer. No, I did not. I did not want to do that. How do I pick up this hammer? I don't know. Do I need to pick up the hammer? There's nothing else. It's not telling me anything else. Let's keep running. Let's keep going. What was that? What was that? But whatever it is, I built it. Ooh, where's this going? Where's this going? It's going somewhere, right? Oh, I've got oh, I've got no more coins left. Watch. Watch. Okay, I'm watching. I'm okay. <laughs> build, expand, defend. So do I just build by dropping coins? Do I, how do I get more coins? Oh okay. That did she steal my coin? Well, this is really interesting, isn't it? Okay, so now he's got oh now he's got the hammer. So he's running out to build because he had a hammer. What is this thing? How many coins do I have? 
None. I have, I have, I have not enough coins. What? Do I not want the? Oh, okay. I just need to hold it down longer, apparently. What's this thing? Okay, cool. Now I'm, I'm out of coins. Now, how do, how do I get? How do I get more? This is interesting. This is the most interesting game so far. Um, I really want more coins. I don't even. Know. Whoa! Five coins. I ain't got five coins. What happens? What happens if we go over here? Is there any more coins over here? No, I don't have any coins. Do I just keep running around till I find coins? Um, I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's not get bogged down because this, this is supposed to be like a quick look see. So let's save and quit. That's really interesting. So what's the next one like? So that was classic. So New Lands, I assume is prettier. I'm gonna guess there's prettier or the mechanics have been refined. Is it an expansion? I don't know. It's not really clear. Seems like a like a, a rehash or reworking of the same game to make it better. Okay, licorice, nice. We, we've done this once. Raw Fury, yep, we've we've, <laughs> we've established you have some Raw Fury. Okay, there we go. She's got a different colored dress on, I think. Right, this is a solitary queen. Carries the crown to a new land, okay. This is, this appears, this, this is very similar. Very similar. This, yep, yep, the metaphor was not lost on me the first time. <laughs> first time. Ooh, that's, that's different. Is that a ghost of a, is that, is that ghost killing that deer? Yeah, more going on. Look at all the coins for us. Look at all the coins for us. Oh, so the ghost is now giving us a tutorial. Okay, so yeah, it's just it's a refined version. That's really interesting. Um, obviously, I'm not sure there's a lot of point playing classic if you've got new lands because it does seem to be, um, yeah, built upon the award-winning game and mystery. So yeah, you might there's not really a lot of point to play the original. You might as well just go straight to new lands. That's fantastic. Look at that. That's awesome. Read. I want to read more just to see more of that. that that's awesome. Um, so yeah, that looks really interesting. Again, all so far, all these video, all these games are gonna get at least streamed or they're in videos because they look awesome. So uh, what's the next one on the list? Uh, we've done Kingdom Land. So we've got Black Mesa now. Uh, Black Mesa is a bit disappointing uh, because Black Mesa um, crashes, and I'm not the only one to have it. Lots of people are having crashes with it very quickly after launching it, and uh, I have launched it. There we go. Uh, wait. I'm sure we can, we can just wait. It's fine. We'll just wait. I'm still waiting. It's, the wait goes on. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. There we go. So let's uh, let's go new load game because there are currently no saves to display. Well, that's great, isn't it? So new game. Um, can we? Oh no. Okay. Start the first bit. This is the train ride. Everyone's done the train ride. Um, so we'll just have a look at the pretty graphics, I suppose, and then it'll crash, and then we'll just go about our day. And basically, the game like it's very prone to crash, just crash into desktop, just just exiting. Um, and one of the ways to do it is to unlock all the levels and just start from the second level. And that's supposed to solve the crash. Did not for me. It crashes really early on for me. Maybe it won't do it this time, and I'll just look like a big jackass. Who knows? I've just noticed that um, my shirt's faded and it's not as black as it was. I noticed against the blackness of the loading screen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. See, they've done lots of work to make it like that. It looks like it looks much newer. It, yeah, it looks really cool. I mean, obviously, you know, they've kept the spirit and they haven't changed it too much to move away from the spirit of the original game. But yeah, it's really cool. And for those of you who don't know, Black Mesa is a reworking of uh, Half-Life 1. To make it more graphically in line with Half-Life 2. So, so, you know, you can play them and in, enjoy the games and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but all this stuff's new because the train ride was pretty bland originally. Yay. Um, at the time, it was kind of stunning. But when you go back and play it now, it's kind of dull. Look at that. Yay. Area 9. Cool. This is definitely this is definitely the way to uh, the way to experience it, I think, if it doesn't crash for you. Started off as a mod. Um, that people was working on then became a full product, which was interesting. I do like it when Valve allow that to happen or a or help that to happen. I don't know what is the right word there. A bit of clip in there. That's a bit weird. Hmm, okay. Oh, and oh, are we loading? Are we loading? Because last time it crashed here. Yeah, I'll be honest. Last time this is a point where it was like, no, desktop. Um, 
like it's 1996. Well, there they. Ah, I love loading screens. They're my favourite screens. Loading screens are. They're the, they're the best things about games when you get to endlessly look at a loading screen. I love it. It's just it's just brilliant. Hard drive light still flashing. Size. There we go. There we go. Are we gonna? Are we gonna like just? Are we, do you see an outside bit now in the original? I haven't played. I haven't got this far in this one. So, is there like there's like a robot doing stuff and then there's an outside bit. So there's the robot doing stuff. That's new. That's the re. That's a massive reworking. And then we should get the outside. Um, door release. Secure. Okay, we, we don't need to read that it's door. Oh, oh, what's this? No, no, they, no. They, very exciting. Okay. Yay! Oh, ooh, that's cool. Well, it hasn't crashed this time, and they have done a bloody good job of it, haven't they? I mean, this is quite astounding. If you remember the original game, they've done a they've done loads to this. Like every scene now is like a little diorama of its own, isn't it? It's really cool. Yeah, you better off looking at the back and the front, I think. Oh, oh, oh. do we not get the outside? I'm sure there was an outside bit before you stop. Oh, no, there's the outside bit. So have they reworked the opening? Or is this going to move now? Or Oh, down. No. Down, yes. Down? Oh, there we go. This is I don't remember this happening in the original sequence. <gasps> the outside. That's cool. I don't know why I've got excited like I've never seen the outside before. <laughs> but there it is. There's the outside. What's this? It's a train maintenance. Um, What's it say? Do not leave behind. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, that's yeah. Anyone who doesn't who doesn't remember the original Half Life or hasn't played it, definitely worth going back to play. Um, it really is the classic. And this and like the graphics get to a certain point where you go, oh, it's too old. And I think things like projects like this where they're like giving it new life with the old, the exact old game with new graphics and like new effects and stuff. This is. I approve of this. This is definitely cool. So uh, let's let's not this again. This is gonna. This is definitely all these are definitely so far getting their own videos. So let's not harp on it too much. So let's just save that because obviously I, I I enjoyed it, but I'm not sure I want to go through it again. Oh, I okay. It's, it's just it saves and exits very quickly. Didn't expect that. That game is priced at fourteen ninety nine. But as I said, for me the last two times I loaded it, it crashed very quickly. But this time it seems to be fine. So perhaps it's a loading glitch. Perhaps it's something that doesn't happen a lot, or you know, I don't know. But um, it definitely makes me want to go back and play that. And fourteen ninety nine seems very reasonable for a game that really is bloody good. Um, and yeah, it's, it's finished. It's, it's still early access. Is it finished? I want to say it's finished. I'm sure they finished it. But uh, either way, they're going to be finishing it and. Very positive reviews. What did you need? What computer do you need for this? Um, yeah, it's nothing, nothing ridiculous. Um, five to our video card, broad, yeah, fifteen gigabyte space, about where it is. Dual core seems reasonable. All seems reasonable. So, what's the game I've been putting off till last? This is Layers of Fear. The last game in here is Layers of Fear. Um, Layers of Fear is a horror game, and the fact it gets very positive reviews means it's going to be scary as shit. And uh, I'm a coward, so yeah, it's fourteen ninety nine. It's oh, I just jumped the reviews somehow. I don't really want to read them. Um, oh, we can do this while we're here though. Uh, GTX six sixty Ti, two gigabyte, five gig of RAM, five gig of RAM, five gig of available space, and four gig of RAM. Okay. The fact it's got upvotes just always means it's going to be scary when it comes to a horror game. And oh my gosh, it's well lit in here. I mean, it's not like um, it's not it's not like I'm going to be. It's not not going to play it at night time on stream because that'd be pretty much the worst thing ever for all of us, really. Uh, Layers of fear. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fourteen ninety nine's worth. Why would you pay to be scared the shit out of? I don't. I don't get it. I don't get why. You, I don't at all get why you'd pay to be scared. Uh, maybe it won't load. Maybe I'll fall lucky and it won't, it won't load. No, it's going to load. Fuck. Okay, photo epilepsy. If you have a history of epilepsy, don't play this game. Okay, that's great. Right, okay. Aspire did the port on this one, did they? Okay, that's also interesting. So it's going to be a high quality game that's going to scare the shit out. Oh, made with Unity. Cool, okay. Come on. Load, damn it. Okay. Adjust the brightness on the slide bar until the portrait is barely visible. Um, okay, well, I don't know what your monitor's like, but that's, on mine, that's about barely visible. Um, empty profile, okay, load, hex one, I don't know why there's a capital E, 
Let's just go for it. Layers of Fear's unique immersive game experience, which every decision affects the narrative. As in life, as it's the doors you open. Okay, whatever. Let's go. New game. Let's go. Come on. We can do this. It's a just blood. Is it? <laughs> oh my god. I should one day I'll just edit out all of these, all of these loading bars. But today is not that day. Oh no, it fills up with blood. That's not very clear, is it? It's like I don't know. I thought the the bar was going to get bigger or smaller. I didn't know. They should have had it so it was just one red bar and then it bled down to the bottom of the screen and when it hit the bottom of the screen it was loaded. That's what I would have done. I don't believe in criticizing already. It's um It's a nice it's a, it's a nice painting. I think is that just the covering? Not the actual painting? I don't know. Wow, this loading is taking a long time. Is it gonna be one of those where it's loading and then there's a jump scare? This <laughs> is loading, loading, jump scare. That's probably what's gonna happen, isn't it? Come on! There, oh. Okay, didn't take that long. I thought I was going to have to edit that out then as well. I was about to stop like, paying attention because I thought it was going to be edited out. I know how you must feel. Okay. Uh, space bar to skip cutscene because I don't want to get scared this time of day and I just want to see what the game's like and see if it works. Oscar Wilde. Okay, every portrait is painted with feeling. Portrait, okay. Oscar Wilde, like Oscar Wilde. Okay, there's a dog muzzle. Dog muzzle? I don't know. Um, that's very pretty, isn't it? Look at that. That's really pretty. Can I get out of there? No. Can I go this way? Oh, yep. Oh, I have to swing the door. Hmm. Well, that's pretty. Wow. I have to actually hold the, the mouse down and move it like it's your hand. Okay. Oh, there's electric. And there's me thinking it was in all these daytimes. What's this? Um, below knee prosthesis. Okay. Light. All the lights. We want to turn all the light, as many lights as possible on. Because we we don't want to get scared. Why? You've got ceiling lights. Why have you got candles as well? That's just a... And look, candles straight on wood. That's a fire hazard, if ever I've seen one, that is. There's the light switch in here. What's this? Okay, so you have to, like... Okay, I have for those of you... I have to, like, click my mouse. And then, like, lift and, like, pull... Rather than just clicking. I don't mind that. That's a good control system. I don't I don't mind that control system. As long as it's done well. What's this? It's not scratched out by a lunatic at all. No, no. It'll be fine. Okay. Um, light switches, light switches, light switches, light switches. Wait, what? I don't... Did, is that on? Did I do that? I don't remember doing that. That's weird. Oh, this, is scary. this is the scary door, right? This is the, the bit where it's going to... I don't even want to read that. It's just... Okay, okay what does it say? Uh, I didn't touch the workshop while you asked. Oh, okay, whatever. 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 It's just going to... No, we're going up. We're not going down. And we leave doors open. So every door I've opened... Every door I've been in is now open. So if I come around the corner and doors are closed, I know I've not been there. And then I know scary shit's afoot. Very pretty. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Scary sounds. Don't know how much you guys can hear. Um, a tea light candle. A locked door, that's really. Is it just like is there like a drawer next to the door? What does this say? Uh been working all night. Don't wake me up. Tough tatties. I'm waking you the fuck up. No, not there. Lies. What's in here? That's not how you stack wine bottles. Is that? Is that? No. Okay. This is <laughs> right. I was kind of was half hoping to be jump scared to shit before, like at least in the video, but it looks like I'm going to be okay for that. So, uh, the fuck, we keep falling. What? What the? Keeps falling. That that someone's running around here knocking shit over to piss me off. What the fuck is that? That's some creepy shit. Key. I don't know what room this opens. It's going one of the rooms. This video is already half an hour long. I need to. I need to just quit this game now because I've I've done my job as reviewing and, and commenting on the humble monthly bundle. I've I've done it now. I feel like I've accomplished this, and I don't feel like I need to do any more. But at the same time, I'm somehow oddly compelled to keep going because I 
I don't know. If a game's scary, the least it can do is like scare me a little bit because it's not hard to scare me. They haven't really got to do anything to scare me. You just got to essentially be creepy, and then I'll. What's this? Can I not use this bloody key? It's one of these rooms has got. I've got. I've got a key. There's only so many locked rooms. So one of them's got to open. That's the fucking stupid design, making you walk all the way around there, isn't it? You could just have a little exit ramp there. That's just crazy. Yeah, that's some. Yeah, whoever puts, whoever decides on the artwork for this place has got some interesting views. Oh, it's got to be for this room, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> this painting's going to be fucked up, isn't it? That's... That's not actually that scary. That's just a... What's in here? Oh, it's, someone's a drinker. Or the red wine... Or, the, or it's bottles of blood to water down paint. I think that's something people do. I saw that once in an episode of uh, Forever Night... Yeah, that's um, great. Okay, well, whatever. Um, art. Yeah, no scares. Um, I think I'm gonna get one more room. Then I'll get it right this time. Okay, I'm, I feel like I did. I feel like, oh, oh, that wait, that was. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's the here's the creepy. This I thought this was the way I came in. Can we open the creepy curtains? No, we cannot open the creepy curtains. Um, just out. Up. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, let's get back at this door. Get back at what? Wait, what? This isn't the way I came. Oh, it's fucking with me. It's fucking with me. This is, just, this is why I don't play the new res. This is why I won't play the, like new Resident Evil and stuff. What the fuck is that? That's some creepy shit. What, can I not? I don't know what the code is. How do I know what the code is? Um, let's go back this way. And it's locked now. Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it? That's this. Yep, that was Layers of Fear. A game I'm never going to play ever. Not even once. But I'm sh it was it was, it was, was not a pleasant experience. I was waiting to be scared, which is worse than being scared. So, yeah, I'd say I'd recommend that if that's your thing. Um, maybe a stream game if there's ever a brightly lit summer's day with rainbows and rabbits and joy so I don't get weirded out too much but uh yeah it was even scary in the middle of the day that's cool so that was a humble monthly bundle this month um i think that was worth i mean you're paying 12 dollars for this bundle i think it was worth it i mean i i feel like i've got 12 dollars worth of games out of that easily like easily but without any hassle at all um yeah, so I don't feel at all like there's any reason not to have picked that up, which is good, which I'm pleased about. And if you unlock the early access stuff, you get Inside, which is not a Linux game, and Dirt Rally, which is a Linux game. Um, I'm not going to do a video on Dirt Rally because I don't think about racing games. I'll just go, it's cars, it's pretty, which it is, by the way, it's a very good looking game. I've, I've loaded it up to have a look just to see. Really good looking game. Um, not something I can have anything intelligent to say on. So I've been HexDSL, and this has been the April humble monthly bundle let's look forward to the next one shall we thanks for watching bye